Hello viewers, welcome to my channel, I am Hashim Ali Khan. So now I am going to start the problems on regression analysis. Last video I have explained the meaning of the term regression analysis. Then what are the properties of regression coefficients? What are the differences between regression and correlation? And uh, what are the different types of regression analysis? All these things I have explained in the last video. If you have not watched that video, you cannot be able to understand the problems. So I suggest you go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject statistics for management. Select the video regression analysis introduction. Watch completely the first video. Be acquainted with the concept of regression analysis. Then you come to problems. So actually regression analysis is a statistical device which calculate which make the functional relationship between two variables if two variables are related then we make a mathematical functional relationship by making an equation between these two variables why we make the equation <clears throat> the purpose is to predict one value given the value of the other example to predict x value when y value is given or to predict y value when x value is given so the main purpose of regression analysis is prediction of one variable given the value of the other variable because in a business organization a businessman has to make prediction forecasting estimation of a number of variables like production consumption profit expenses income savings investments all these are the terms which are used by businessmen to predict so this regression analysis is a handy tool in the hands of management for, make, for making the production. And I have explained you simple regression and multiple regression. In simple regression only two variables. In multiple regression many variables are there like that. So now I have already have explained you the formulas, equations, regression equation of x on y and regression equation of y on x. Now, before starting the problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. So always keep ready the problems before start watching the main problems videos. And take a screenshot of the solutions of the first and second problem, then I'll explain each and every point. Now, see the first problem. <clears throat> the first problem says, find the two regression equations from the following data. Two regression equations means we have to find out x on y and y on x. So x values are given 57, 58, 59, 59 and y values 77, 78, 75 like that. Estimate the value of y when the value of x <clears throat> is 65. Estimation will do it afterwards. First, we frame the equation x on y and y on x. So how to proceed now see carefully calculations for regression equation now in this table first of all you have to make only two columns x column and y column don't make other columns because we want to find out whether actual mean deviations or assumed mean deviation we don't know so the columns depend on that one so first x column values are given y column values are given so take the total of x 480 total of y 632 now first we calculate mean value x bar and y bar so x bar is equal to summation x by n so 480 divided by 8 values 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 values so 480 by 8 is 60 so 60 is the mean of x x bar y bar mean of y series summation y by n 632 by 8 so 79 so first problem both the mean values are in whole numbers, no fraction. Both the values are in whole numbers. So we take the deviations from actual mean. So small x is equal to capital X minus x bar. x bar is 60. So x minus 60. Similarly small y, capital Y minus y bar. So capital Y minus 79. Then x square, y square, xy. These are the columns we needed 
राइट तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्मॉल एक्स एक्स माइनस सिक्सटी तो फिफ्टी सेवन माइनस सिक्सटी माइनस थ्री फिफ्टी एट माइनस सिक्सटी माइनस टू फिफ्टी नाइन माइनस सिक्सटी माइनस वन फिफ्टी नाइन माइनस सिक्सटी माइनस वन सिक्सटी माइनस सिक्सटी जीरो सिक्सटी वन माइनस सिक्सटी वन सिक्सटी टू माइनस सिक्सटी टू सिक्सटी फोर माइनस सिक्सटी फोर टेक द टोटल यू मस्ट गेट जीरो ऑलरेडी आई टोल्ड यू दिस इन कोरिलेशन चैप्टर ऑल्सो If you take the deviations from actual mean, then the total summation x you must get zero. <clears throat> If you do not get zero, then decide yourself you have made some mistake in calculations. So zero. Similarly, y minus seventy nine, seventy seven minus seventy nine minus two, seventy eight minus seventy nine minus one, seventy five minus seventy nine minus four, seventy eight minus seventy nine minus one, like this. Take the total summation y you must get zero. Because you are taking the deviations from actual mean square. Three threes are nine. Two twos are four. One ones are one. One ones are one zero. Square x values. You will get these values. Square y values. Two square four. One square one. Four square sixteen. Take the total. Then x into y. Three into two. You will get six. Two into one. You will get one. One into four. One. One into one. One. Minus into minus will become plus. Minus into minus will become plus, right? Similarly, if you multiply, you will get summation x y twenty. We got the totals. <clears throat> summation y x square thirty six. Summation y square forty four. Summation x y twenty four. Now, first of all, we need regression coefficients b x y and b y x. After that equation. the regression coefficient of x on y it is denoted as bxy the formula is summation xy divided by summation y square all these things i have explained in detail in the first theory video that's why i'm stressing you to watch the first video so summation xy by summation y square xy is 24 y square is 44 so 24 by 5 to 44 0.54 What is the zero point five four five regression coefficient of x on y, b x y? Similarly, regression coefficient of y on x, b y x. Formula summation x y divided by summation x square. So twenty four divided by thirty six, zero point six six seven. That's it. We have calculated regression coefficient x on y, y on x. Now we'll make the equations. Regression equation. <coughs> Regression equation of x on y. The formula is x minus x bar is equal to b x y into y minus y bar. All these things I have explained in the last video. Now substitute the values. X minus x bar. X bar is here. Sixty is equal to b x y. B x y we have calculated. Point five four five. B x y point five four five. Y minus y bar. Y bar is seventy nine. Now open the bracket. Five four point five four five. You open the bracket. X minus sixty as it is. Zero point five four five into y is zero point five four five y minus zero point five four five into seventy nine. You will get forty three point zero five five. This is LHS. This is RHS. Now take this minus sixty to RHS. Keep only x on LHS. LHS we are keeping only x. Take this minus sixty to RHS. So minus sixty will become plus sixty. So x is equal to zero point five four five y minus forty five point zero fifty five plus sixty. You will get plus sixteen point nine four. That's it. One equation I have explained you regression equation of x on y. Similarly, regression equation of y on x exactly similar. Y minus y bar is equal to b y x into x minus x bar. This is the regression equation of y on x. So y minus y bar, y bar is seventy nine. So y minus seventy nine is equal to b y x. B y x is here point six six seven. So here b y x point six six seven into x minus x bar. X bar is sixty. Take sixty. Now open this bracket. So y minus seventy nine as it is. 0.667 into x is 0.667x minus 0.667 into 60 40.0. Keep this y on LHS 
एंड ब्रिंग दिस माइनस सेवेंटी नाइन टू आर एच एस तो माइनस सेवेंटी नाइन विल बिकम प्लस सेवेंटी नाइन तो वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स सेवन एक्स माइनस फोर्टी पॉइंट जीरो टू प्लस सेवेंटी नाइन तो फाइनली वाई इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स सेवन एक्स प्लस माइनस फोर्टी पॉइंट जीरो टू प्लस सेवेंटी नाइन यू विल गेट प्लस थर्टी एट पॉइंट नाइन एट दैट्स इट तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज आस्किंग यू टू मेक टू रिग्रेशन इक्वेशन एक्स ऑन वाई एंड वाई ऑन एक्स दिस इज एक्स ऑन वाई एंड दिस इज वाई ऑन एक्स फर्स्ट पार्ट कंप्लीटेड सेकेंड पार्ट इट इज आस्किंग यू टू एस्टिमेट द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई वेन एक्स इज गिवन एज सिक्सटी फाइव दट इज गिवन द प्रॉब्लम लास्ट लाइन इन द प्रॉब्लम एस्टिमेट द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई वेन द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज सिक्सटी फाइव so estimated value of y is equal to how much when x is equal to 65 if you want to estimate y apply the equation y on x apply the equation y on x so regression equation of y on x is this one y is equal to 0.667x plus 38.98 this is the regression equation of y on x why we are applying y on x because we need y we need y So y is equal to 0.667x in place of x. Write down 65, given in the problem, plus 38.98. Now open 0.667 into 65. You'll get 43.355. Add up both 82.335. So estimated value of y is 82.335 when x is 65. That's it. This is the very first problem on regression analysis. I've explained each and every point. so this first video you have to watch with full concentration because if you have understood the starting two three problems the remaining problems will be very very easier for you next second problem from the following data obtain the two regression equations again it is asking you to frame two regression equation just like the previous one but no estimation it is not asking you to estimate anything only regression equations so values are given sales 91 97 108 121 a number of values are given sales values then purchases are given 71 75 69 97 so two variables sales and purchases we denote sales as x and purchases as y now see the solution here calculations for regression equations first of all you have to make only two columns x column and y column don't make other columns because we have to see whether deviations should be taken from actual mean or assumed mean only after calculating mean we will come to a position to decide so x value sales sales as x all the values are given and purchases are denoted as y all the values are given take the total summation x 900 summation y 700 if you take the total Now we calculate x bar and y bar, mean of x, x bar, summation x by n, 900 divided by 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ten values are there. So 900 divided by 90, and x bar, y bar, summation y by n, 700 by 10, 70. Again, fortunately, we got both the means is whole number, no fraction, no fraction. so we can take the deviations from actual mean take the deviations from actual mean small x is equal to capital x minus x bar capital x minus 90 x bar is 90 similarly small y is equal to capital y minus y bar capital y minus 70 x square y square xy exactly similar to the previous problem subtract x minus 90 91 minus 90 1 97 minus 90 7 108 minus 90 18, 121 90 one. Like this you subtract. After finding out the deviations, take the total. You must get zero. If you are not getting zero, that means you have made wrong calculations. Here itself it will be confirmed. Don't proceed ahead. First you find out you must get zero. Similarly, y minus 70, 71 minus 70 1. 75 minus 70 5 69 minus 70 minus 1 <clears throat> like this calculate deviations total summation y you must get zero when you will get zero if deviations are taken from actual
actual mean. Now square. X square, 1 square, 1. 7 square, 49. 18 into 18, 324. 31 into 31, 961. Square. Y square, 1 square, 1. 5 square, 25. 1 square, 1. 27 square, 729. Take the total of X square, 6360. Y square, 2868. Now multiply x into y. This is x, this is y. 1 into 1 is 1. 7 into 5, 35. 8 into 1, 18 into 1 is 18. Plus into minus will become minus. Be careful regarding the signs. Here minus into minus will become plus. Minus into minus will become plus. Minus into minus will become plus. And minus 23 into 0 will be 0. There is no minus 0 or plus 0, only 0. Take the total xy, 3900. So we got the total of summation x square, summation y square, summation xy. Now first of all we need regression coefficients. That is bxy and byx. So regression coefficient of x on y, bxy, summation xy divided by summation y square. Already we have discussed in detail in the first video. So Summation x y 3900 divided by 63 uh, divided by summation y square y square is 2868 1.36 is the bxy now byx regression coefficient of y on x byx summation x y divided by summation y square so summation x y 3900 y square 6360 x square sorry here I have made a mistake here here y square here it is x square 6360 x square so 0.613 so we got bxy and we got byx now we substitute in the equation regression equation of x on y x minus x bar is equal to bxy into y minus y bar so x minus x bar how much is the x bar here 90 so x minus 90 is equal to bxy 1.36 Take 1.36. Y minus Y bar. Y bar is 70. Y bar is 70. Now open the bracket. X minus 90 is equal to 1.36 into Y. 1.36 Y. Minus 1.36 into 70. 95.2. Take this minus 90 to RHS. It will become plus 90. So X is equal to 1.36 Y minus 95.2 plus 90. So finally X is equal to 1.36 Y minus 5.2. One equation, we got it. That equation is regression equation of x on y. Similarly, regression equation of y on x. y minus y bar is equal to byx into x minus x bar. So y minus y bar, y bar is 70. So y minus 70 is equal to byx. byx is 0.613 into x minus 90. Open the bracket y minus 70 is equal to 0 0.613 into x is 0 0.613 x minus 0 0.613 into 90 you will get 55.17 now take this minus 70 to rhs you will get minus 70 will become plus 70 now y is equal to <clears throat> 0 0.613 x plus minus 55.17 plus 70 or in other words, 70 minus 55.17 will get 14.83 plus 14.83. This is the regression equation of y of x. So we have calculated regression equation x on y and y of x. This is the very first video on regression analysis. I have explained each and every point how to make the regression equations. Watch the video once, twice, thrice. Then you will get a good command. Not only watching, but also you have to make practice after listening watching this video on your own try to uh, i mean solve the problem yourself see whether you are getting the same answer or not if you are not getting try once again then only you will get the command only watching listening the lecture is not sufficient only 50 percent remaining 50 percent depend on your practice okay inshallah we'll the start we'll continue the next problem in the next video